In today's video, I'm going to show you how to completely alter the look of your site by installing a brand new theme called Pinboard. Now honestly, Pinboard is a complex theme. I spent practically all day trying to figure it out myself. It kind of kicked my butt and I didn't get as far into it as I wanted to. So I'm actually cutting this tutorial short and I'm going to produce a second Pinboard tutorial in a few days. But for now, you're going to learn quite a bit today about Pinboard and how to start setting it up. So I hope you enjoy this video. Let's get started. Today we're going to dramatically change the look of our site by installing a new theme. There's a free theme I like called uh, Pinboard. So go ahead and go to Appearance and then Themes. And then under Install Themes, do a search for Pinboard. Now, Pinboard is a cool looking theme with a really nice looking slider. It's really good for media, pictures, videos, and it's also responsive, meaning it will resize to any device. So this is a cool theme. So let's click Install Now and install this theme. Now, before we click Activate, let's look at what our site looks like currently. Here's what it looks like. It's going to look a lot different after we install this theme, actually after we activate this theme. So now let's click Activate. And here's our new theme. Let's go ahead back to our site, refresh it, and now we have this. I like it. So what are we going to do first? We're going to go in and we're going to look at our theme options. So let's go to our dashboard. Then we will hover over Appearance and go down to Theme Options. Now I'm going to leave things pretty much as they are right now. I'm going to add my YouTube channel here and my Google Plus page here and the rest of these things I'm going to leave as is for now. Also these credit links, I'm going to leave those on because I like being nice to the designers and giving them credit for what they've done. Okay, let's look at my page now. And here is the YouTube channel button I added and here's the Google Plus page button I added. So that's kind of nice. So now what we're going to work on is making a slider for our home page with some images. What we need to do first is we need to go to our dashboard and we need to click on posts. First thing we have to do to make this slider work is we have to add a featured image to our posts. How do we do that? Well, I've created a couple test posts in here, plus I have the, the other posts that I already had. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click edit under test post one. And I am going to scroll down a little bit here and I'm going to click on set featured image. Our slider images should be 1140 pixels by 395 pixels. So I'm going to create some images in Picasa uh, to match those dimensions. How am I going to do that? Well, I'll open a picture. I'll click on crop and then I will go to the bottom and click on add custom aspect ratio and I will type in 1140 by 395 and call this Pinboard and click OK. So now I will choose that option in Crop, Pinboard, and then I will crop my image. And I will have an image that is exactly that size. Okay, so I'll click Apply after my crop and then I will click Export down here on the bottom and I will export it to my desktop and I'll call the folder uh, Pinboard. We want it to say Resize and we want this to say 1140 because that's our width. And we'll leave image quality on automatic because that's the best image quality. And then we click Export. So now back on our site we will click on Upload Files then we'll click Select Files and then we will go to our pinboard folder and our image that we just created and we will upload it. And then we are going to click set featured image. So now I have set one featured image. Now that I have set the featured image, I will scroll up and click update. After clicking update, we have to be sure that our post is sticky. If the post is not sticky, it won't show up in the slider. So under visibility here, we're going to click edit. And then we will click stick this post to the front page. And then we will click update. Now, I would like at least three images in my slider. So I'm going to go back to posts and I'm going to follow this same procedure for at least two more posts. So I've gone ahead and set a featured image for each of these posts. I've also made each of these posts sticky. So now 
I just go back to my home page and take a peek. There you go. Our slider is working. And you'll note that I use images that have a little bit of darkness on the right side because the text they choose is white. I'm sure there's a way to edit the color of that text, but I don't know how to do it yet. So I chose images that were dark. And there we have our slider working. Okay, let's look and see how our blog is displaying. So I'll click that, and here's our blog. And it's showing a test post that's full width, another post that's full width, and then posts that are half width down here. I kind of like that, but I'd rather have just one full width and then go half width, or maybe, or maybe even have three columns down here. So let's go back to our theme options, so appearance and theme options, and we're gonna scroll down a little bit, and we'll see right here, home page, which is actually, since we're using a static home page, as far as Pinboard is concerned, this is our blog page. So we're gonna go one full post to display before grid, and then we will click save settings. And then we're gonna click on layout over here. And I'm gonna choose a no sidebar layout here. And then I'm gonna say that I want my content to be in four columns. And my footer can still have three columns. And the reason I am not choosing one with a sidebar is because the sidebar counts for one of these columns and I want four posts across the bottom. So I'm gonna have one featured post that's full width and then four underneath it. So now I'm gonna click Save Settings, and now I'm gonna go back to my blog, I'm gonna look at it, and when I scroll down, I have my one test post, and then my four next posts underneath it, and then my footer still has its three columns. Now keep in mind, now keep in mind, my featured images don't all have to be the same size. Only the ones that I make sticky will show up in my slider. Go ahead and try uploading some images and setting them as featured posts, but don't make them the slider size, just make them any random size, and then check and see what they look like. Okay, the last thing I'm gonna do for this particular tutorial is change the order of these. I want my home page to be first, and I want my About Us page to be last. I'm gonna do that by going back to my dashboard, and then going to Appearance on the left, and then going to Menus. Okay, I'm going to create a custom menu. I'll give it a name my menu and then I will click on create menu. Now I want this menu that I'm creating to be my primary menu so I'm going to in this drop down box I'm gonna drop down and click my menu and then the pages that I want to add to the menu are all of them so I'm gonna click on blog contact me about us and welcome and I'm gonna click add to menu. Now here's my menu over here and I want my welcome page to be first. So I'm just gonna drag it up here to be first. Contact me, I want to be second. Blog, I want to be third. And about us, I want to be last. So then I click Save Menu over here. And then I'm gonna go back to my main site and see what it looks like. And now my menu looks like I want it to look. So today, we have installed a new theme called Pinboard. It looks pretty sweet. We've added a couple social media buttons up here at the top. We have set up our homepage slider. We changed the layout of the blog a little bit to be one full-size post with four columns underneath that. And that's what we've done today. I am excited to use this theme and to see what else it can do. So thanks for watching this video today. I hope you learned a lot. I'll be producing a part two on Pinboard coming soon, and um, stick around. Please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.